So in this example, we need to find sine 19 pi over 12. We need to use an appropriate compound angle formula to determine exact value for each. So sine 19 pi over 12, we can say it will be equal to sine pi plus 7 pi over 12. So it will be, because it's going to be on the third quadrant, it's going to be equal to negative sine 7 pi over 12. So it's going to be negative sine 4 pi over 12 plus 3 pi over 12. Or we can say negative sine pi over 3 plus pi over 4. So we can say negative is going to be sine pi over 3 times cosine pi over 4 plus sine pi over 4 times cosine pi over 3. So it's going to be negative sine pi over 3 is root 3 divided by 2, cosine pi over 4 is root 2 divided by 2, sine pi over 4 is root 2 divided by 2, sine pi over 3 is 1 over 2. So it's going to be root 6 divided by 4 plus root 2 divided by 4. And we have a negative sign there. So we have negative root 6 plus root 2 divided by 4. So that's going to be the answer.